Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I tell you the story, let me give you a little bit of background. This person right here, his name's Theo. I've known him forever, like since we were toddlers. So it's not really a choice for us to be friends. It's kind of like we're stuck together. And right there, that's me, Kenny. I think you can already tell what type of person I am. Hey, bro, chill out. <laughs> Last night? Uh, only one I can remember. People actually like me. <laughs> that sounds like a crazy dream, man. <laughs> hey, bro, what time is it? I don't know. Where are all the people at? Oh, shit, we are late. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, shit, we are late. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, now this, this is where it got bad. This guy right here. Attention class. As you can see, your teacher, Miss Flowers, is not here today. Hence, the board. Therefore, I, Mr. Richards, will be filling in. I'll remember that. Let's start with some attendance, shall we? Alexis. Kenny. William. Sam. Dylan. Dia. Heather. Yada, 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 yada. We get it. They have names. All right. Let's pass the time with some drawing. Because, <laughs> you know, I can make the Mona Lisa for how long he talked. Anyways, let's... Bro, look at this little artist over here, bro. <sighs> bro, just look at him. Thanks. Back to the story. Yeah. Um, I had a dream I killed William. <laughs> I Dang. pushed him off a cliff. Dang, bro. That's a crazy dream. Yeah, I know. Um... Is that his bracelet? What are you talking about? I've had this forever. Nah, I swear I literally, I've I've literally had this forever. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, that's for my mom. So, you can shut up. <laughs> Interesting. Whatever. Hold up. I don't like this outfit anymore. Um, that's better. Continue. Hey, bro, where Mr. Richards at? I don't know. Maybe he's stuck in traffic or something. Oh, that's so surprised. He's so busy. So this man comes in late, right? Still walking super slow, but he takes roll, you know, here, here, here. 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 But you know who's here. missing? Here. William. Here. Yeah, that guy. The one who bullies me. But you know, I'm not complaining. <laughs> So the day ends, finally go home after a long day of school, and we live to see another day. <laughs> I think I need to speak on the fact that even though I hate William, it's weird that he wasn't showing up to school and that the teacher didn't even acknowledge that he was gone, but always seemed to pick on me though. Maybe it was because I made fun of him that one time. Mr. Richards, where's he at? I don't know, he's probably stuck in traffic or something. <laughs> Yo, what if William died like how he did in my dream? I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I turned out to be wrong because from what I've heard, there was a body that was found on campus a couple weeks after. And I heard that he was wearing the same thing that William was wearing before he went missing. But I wasn't aware of any of this at the time. I was just thinking I was making things up just to get through the day. Which I eventually did because class ended and I eventually went home. But what happened the next day really opened my eyes. You like pineapple? 
Hey, bro, that sounds nasty. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I mean, I was young. I used to go you know, kind of kind of like me. I like the college. You know what I mean? Attention, students. There has been reports of missing kids, and we need any information that might be of help, please. Thank you. The, the Scooby Doo gang, like, you like, your friend or something, like, when I ask guys. Anybody, you gotta take this serious. It's not funny. Truthfully, I was in denial. Anything that made me uncomfortable, I would just try to joke about it. Because I just wish it wasn't true. I go walking back to Mr. Richard's room because I forgot my bag. Then I find out. This man has been killing off students, throwing away their body parts little by little in garbage bags. He tries to catch me, but I run away. I try to find Theo, but I see him walking into Richard's room. It's too late. My heart was bursting out of my chest. I was hoping that my friend would be okay. But I see him walk out the room. I could tell by the look on his face he knows. He ran into the hallway, and that's where I lost sight of him. I haven't seen him since. Neither did the teacher. I told my mom I wanted to switch schools, and she asked me why. <laughs> I was too scared to tell her. But she could tell something was eating at me. So she agreed. And now I'm here. That is an eight pound bag of bullshit. <laughs>